Okay, I think we go through this way here. Follow the fence over there. And then, nope, can't go that way. Okay, we'll go this way. That's that big tree that I've been past twice. I think I went left last time, so we'll go right this time. Now we come this way, I think. I think this is northeast. If my phone worked but wasn't out of range, I'd be able to find out. Okay, that's that tree that I've passed four times. And I come through here. Oh, bloody hell. I don't know. Hey guys, Steve here. How you going? Well, I don't know whether any of you have ever been bushwalking or just got a little bit disorientated or lost on your own. Um, but I've got a product today that might help you out in a sort of lost situation um, and also a bit of survival as well. So we'll get the uh, intro out of the road and then we'll get into it, eh? Cheers. Hey guys, Steve here. Well, I'm back home safe now. Well, actually, I never left home. I was just down the back part of my yard down there walking around. But what I want to show you, I've got a product today that I've been using for a long time, and it's actually a Leatherman, and uh, it's the Leatherman Signal. Now, I've been wanting one of these for years, and uh, I used to have one of those little tiny red MacGyver knives. It wasn't a proper one but uh, I sort of lost it and uh, always wanted another one and uh, I happened to uh, see this one. It was a new one that they had out a few years ago. It's been out for a while now. They've got a few different products you get on their website. You can check them out. But I ordered the Leatherman Signal. Now, it's called a Signal for a reason um, because it can help you out in a sticky situation. Um, they're not cheap, but they give you a 25 year guarantee so if you have any trouble with it and i haven't had any trouble with it i've had this for a, over 12 months probably longer and it's come in really handy um i sort of carry it around on this little leather thing here that i had made if you checked out my video about the guy that was in town that makes australian made leather stuff i might put a link up there right eh? and um check that out you'll see how that was made but um, I thought I'll show you the knife because I didn't, I haven't never really touched base on it. So let's get into it. I, I might uh, put the camera on the top down view over here and we'll show you what's in the box. Okay, we've got the uh, Leatherman box here. So like I said, I ordered this a few years ago. So this is what you get. Nice little uh, box. Uh, what is a multi what is multi-purpose? We're, we are prepared to solve problems for the unexpected and unexpected. This means equipping you with the highest quality set of tools and the easiest to carry from any factor, allowing you to be ready for anything. Learn more at leatherman.com.com. Okay, let's open. Okay, so let's open her up now. So I've had this for a while. So you take the outer cover off, and then you get this little bit of cardboard here that gives you how to use the Leatherman. So you've got all these little instructions in here on how to pull it apart, pull the blades out, all that sort of thing. Um, and just a bit of a thank you for asking you to, for thanking you for buying it and um, registering it online. You get the warranty here, so you can, um, if you have any troubles with it, like I said, there is a 25 year limited guarantee written there. So if it fails for any reason, now you get a little um, pouch for it. Uh, it's got a great little um, press start on it there. Now, like I said, I haven't been using this. I, I had been using it for another product. There's nothing wrong with it. It's um, made of like, it's not canvas, but it's made of a really tough um, sort of material that you'd find like in a gym bag or something like that. Um, it's really well, it's you know, really well stitched together. Um, it's got the Leatherman name on it and it's got a little belt clip in the back there, which is, looks to be about 40, 45 mils in uh, width then you get the knife itself so we'll pull that out now this has got a lock on it 
that little clip there, you pull that across and that unlocks it, push it that way and it locks it so you can't accidentally undo it. Now you've got two blades that you can use without undoing it. You've got your, okay, you've got this little blade here. So it's got a nice little, uh, it's very sharp and you've got a little serrated edge there and then you've got a piece in here which you can probably use for bending stuff or whatever. Now to put it back there, you can see that little clip there. It's got a little diagram. You just press down on there and put that away. Over on the other side, you've got a great little saw blade for you know, chopping up small branches or something like that. Uh, it's very sharp. I don't use that a lot. Um, but if I wanted to use it, like if I needed some small twigs or something, I've got it there. Same again, little press button there. Okay, like I said, to undo it, that little clip there, just pull it back out and you undo it. I should have mentioned here too, you've got a little um, hammer here, which is great for bashing in small pegs around a tent or also for cracking nuts or anything like that. And you've got a little multi-tool fitting in the end there. Also got a good little um, carabiner hook there, which you could uh, use to clip onto a backpack or a belt or something like that. Now, we'll just, um, on the top here, I'll just show you uh, why we got it here. If you push this down, so this is, a, this is a locking piece here, so if you push that down, you can push that out. And you've got a great little sharpener for your blade there. Um, So you can just run that over your blade and then also if you look at the end of it there it's um, tapered you can sharpen up the um, serrated one as well so they've really thought of everything and it's good that if you push that down there that little clip it's on a spring and that locks that in place you can't lose it Okay, we'll open her up. So, once you open her up, you've got a great set of pliers there, needle nose pliers, and they're really strong. I, I wear these at work, and you have no idea how many times I've used these. And also you've got in here is a replaceable set of wire strippers or wire cutters. So, say you've got a broken wire in your camper or your trailer or something like that, you can cut it, strip it, and um, yeah, get might get you out of trouble. Okay, on the other end here, you've got just a simple bunch of tools. I can't remember the name of that, I'll have a look it up. You've got a can opener for opening up cans, and also you've got a little multi-tool for uh, a screwdriver. Now I've used this bit probably more than anything. So you've got a Phillips screwdriver. I was out with my camper there a few weeks ago. Uh, the wire fell out of my solar input and this is the only screwdriver I had at the time and that got me out of trouble. So you can pull it out, turn it around, you've got a flat screwdriver and you can also buy um, different types of screwdriver um, bits or fittings that will go in that as well. So there's no scissors on it. Uh, with a knife I don't think you really need it. Um, but you could, you can buy a, a good little pair of scissors from Leatherman and then they clip on your key ring. Um, I'll see if I can find a photo of it and I'll put that up on the screen. Um, now what I was saying about when I was lost in the bush out the backyard there, up here, see if you pull this little clip up here and just grab hold of this, it's a little bit hard to get out, but there's a reason so it doesn't fall out. You got a little ferro, was it ferro, ferro rod um, for starting a fire. So you can use the back of your um, little saw blade there. If I find the right one on the, the right side, that, that's the trouble with this thing. It's got um, so many blades on it, you just sort of, you get a little bit, but you can see the sparks coming off that, so you can light a fire. So that's a that's a great thing if you you know lost your lighter, lost your matches, um, and you needed to get yourself out of trouble. So and it it locks away back in there. You just got to put it in the right. Oh, for nearly forgot to show you, lost in the bush. So also 
on the top here, I don't know whether you can see there, you've got a whistle. So I'll just blow it. So quite loud, I was only just doing half strength with that. So you've got a whistle as well as a, a fire starter. So that's a terrific little thing. You know, if you want to attract someone's attention and you're lost, so I'll just put that back in again now. If I can, you just got to poke it back up in there. And uh, when you shut all that up, it should lock back in place. You've got to get the front up first. I haven't done it that many times. There you go. Just push that up, lock that front piece in, and that stops you from losing that so you won't lose it. You wouldn't want to be using that all the time because you'd wear it out, but you can buy replacement parts. So it's going to, And it's got a great little belt clip on there. So that's the uh, Leatherman Signal. Um, great bit of gear to your camping gear or whatever, like you know, just to have with you all the time if you're working. Um, they have got other brands though if you're looking for something different, but I find this one is probably the best one I've seen. So we might uh, now, I'll just might show you maybe striking up a little bit of a fire, right? Eh? Okay, we're stuck in the bush. We've lost our matches and uh, we've lost our lighter. It's getting late. The whistle hasn't worked, no one was listening, so we've got to hunker down for the night. So we'll just test out this. Uh, fire starter here and uh, see if we can get ourselves a fire going, eh? Now once you get it going and get a bit of smoke, got a bit of tissue paper here. Just keep blowing on it. Get some much small stuff as you can in there. Got a few leaves. Get a bit of it's very stuff around here is very wet. But uh, you should get it going. Burning down the bottom there. There we go. She's away. So there you go. That's how you light a fire with a le Leatherman signal. Um, great bit of gear. She's burning away down there now. So thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell. And uh, if you want to know anything, um, leave a comment and I'll get back to you. So we'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Hey guys, well I'm back safe and at home. Beep, bleep that out. Com .o. Oh. Dot com. Okay, let's open it up. So, like I said, I've kept the box. I've had this for a while. We'll just open her up. And I just opened that upside down. Bloody hell. Edge there. And to put it back in again, you got this little button at the back here. So, you press that. Not that one, sorry. What do you do?